Cardinal William Henry Keeler, wise, gentle, forgiving. These attributes became apparent in his handling of sexual abuse in the Baltimore Archdiocese. He called the abuse of children by clergy the spiritual equivalent of murder. I shall advocate a policy that says one act of child abuse is one act too many. Cardinal Keeler disclosed the names of more than 80 priests accused of child molestation. This is a privileged moment for our church where we can turn to those who have been victimized and say to them, never again will the victims of abuse be ignored. William Henry Keeler was born March 4, 1931 in San Antonio, Texas. Raised in Lebanon, Pennsylvania, he attended St. Charles Seminary in Philadelphia. He was ordained to the priesthood in Rome in 1955, seen here with his mother Margaret, earning a degree in sacred theology a year later. In the early 1960s, he became a secretary for the Second Vatican Council. It was in those meetings, Father Keeler befriended a Polish bishop named Karol Wojtyla. The bishop impressed Keeler so much, he confided in fellow priests that he thought Wojtyla would one day be Pope. Keeler often said he wished he had a tape of him saying that. Wojtyla became Pope John Paul II. The Pope named Keeler Bishop of the Harrisburg Diocese in 1984. William Keeler. Eleven News went to Rome with Bishop Keeler in 1989 when he was elevated to Archbishop. And again five years later, when the Pope elevated Keeler to the College of Cardinals, making him only the third Cardinal in Baltimore's history. Keeler's friendship with the Pope brought him to Baltimore in 1995. When Pope John Paul II died, Keeler was the first Cardinal from Baltimore in a hundred years to participate as a voting member of the Papal Conclave to choose the next Pope. Keeler became instrumental in building and deepening the relationship between Catholics and Jews. He reached out to Muslims, striving for mutual understanding. Keeler says his belief in the value of dialogue goes back to his Eagle Scout days at a Christian summer camp. Keeler strengthened Catholic education. He expanded housing opportunities for the homeless. He was a vigilant leader of the pro-life movement. Keeler invited Mother Teresa to the Basilica. When the faces of the poor, she could see the Jesus she loved and wanted to serve and oversaw the restoration of the Basilica of the Assumption. Cardinal William Keeler is remembered for his low-key style and centrist reputation, known as a good listener who acted with courage and conviction. David Collins, WBAL TV 11 News. Governor Larry Hogan also posted this on Twitter and Facebook. This morning, I'm very saddened to hear about the passing of Cardinal William Keeler. While Archbishop of the Baltimore Diocese for nearly two decades, he spread a message of love, compassion, and selfless service to the people of all faiths. The Archdiocese says that Cardinal Keeler will lie in repose at the Baltimore Basilica from 1 p.m. to 7 p.m. on Monday. His funeral will be held at 2 p.m. on Tuesday at the Cathedral of Mary Our Queen.